Actually, it didn't. Okay. Hi, Bladers! Welcome back to another set of the week. Hi, Bladers! Welcome. Hi, Bladers! Welcome to another set of the week, and we. Hi, Bladers, and welcome to another set of the week where we're gonna look at Fist of Steel, a set all about clashing. Now, one of the main things about this set, uh. One of the main things about this is that their clashings all. And. Now, one of the main things about this set is that all their clashing, all the singles clashing. Ugh. Now, one of the things about this set is that the clashing that happens with these cards are all action cards. So, yeah, you don't have to actually have to play them and just use it right away. Of course, you can. But sometimes if you want to set up a combo or your next top card to be clashing, then you can actually use these cards for that. So it's kind of like that wait for that good moment to actually clash. So um, anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at the first card. All right, so the first card is Shiroken, and he has a playability that gives you 5 uh, RP, and that's actually all of them actually do that. It's kind of strangely they can kind of do that. So if you have all of them, that's going to be 25 RP. But anyway, um, his action is very uh, basic. Just do a clash. If you win, you get 15. So you're run of the mill kind of clashing. It is pretty low, so you have to try to find a you know either beat them up or wait for a, the right card in your tableau uh, when it's the top card. Next is UFC. A uh, strange, uh, strange name for a single, but uh, uh, has that same play effect. Five uh, game fire, uh, five RP, and then uh, has a very strange uh, clashing effect. It's an action that if you cla everyone clashes, uh, and then uh, if you have a the clashes that actually tied will give you twenty five RP. So very strange. Um, kind of hard to pull off actually in smaller play games, maybe in a five player games. So you'll probably want to wait for that right time when everyone's star ranking is about the same, about you know, one or two stars away. Um, then you can actually use his actions for that. So, um, kind of, kind of interesting that it's, it is 25, which is actually still pretty good for a very, uh, for a basic set. Uh, but, um, I guess it's, you want to wait for that right time to actually play it. Next card, Bryce Long. Um, same thing, 5 RP on the play. And action that is when you lose in the clash, the loser will get a 15 RP. So, um, kind of quite the opposite of Shirokin. Uh, so, you just have this one is another one you can actually set up. Uh, for for a 4 star ranking, if you're going to use this card for clashing, it's actually not too bad. It is on the average, so it's about 50 50, I guess. Alright, next card we have Chuckles. He has a action that if you clash, the winner will gain 15 and the loser will flip one of those cards. So it's not a completely uh, devastating card for the loser, even though he has a choice, unless it's like his one card that he actually is going for. But uh, best to look at the tableau uh, and also find, trying to find the most threatening player in the tournament. And lastly, we got Mr. Siegel. Uh, he has an action when you clash, clash with a player. Then the winner gets 15, and the winner gets to flip the loser's card. So really extremely powerful. Uh, this one, actually, you can probably use on its own uh, against uh, smaller cards because it actually has a pretty high star ranking uh, because it's the super rare. But uh, do look for this one for... This is a very powerful card and one to actually can you can shut down your opponents with. And we have the deck, Super Secret Death Punch! Well, um, this is actually great just for any clashing deck. Uh, it will give you the uh, a natural thirty if you actually do clash, which I think is it is kind of for me. I think it is kind of hard to do it, but you're gonna clash every turn. Um, you can go ahead and take this deck with you. Um, it's actually not too bad. Thirty is a pretty good uh, way to score in the tournament. Uh, but the nice thing about this card is that it works with any card in this set. Now, as far as synergy goes for this set, it's not that great, even though uh, I think the deck works with pretty much with all of them. Um, they actually don't really work together, um, but uh, it's just the kind of like the same thing you can actually just do throughout the tournament. But if you're looking for like cards that tie in together, um, it's not found in here. And again, with the core deck, it's not going to be that 
as great to work around with a lot of cards. There are a few cards that actually will give you some benefits for clashing, especially one of the higher rare cards of the six and sevens, Matsu the Butcher and uh, Day Dog Haxon will actually help you out for each time you clash. So um, I guess those cards actually give you more benefits for clashes, but there are quite few in the core set and around the other sets as well. Now talking about compatibility with other sets, I think it will probably work great for sets that actually do focus on clashing, especially Samurai Modown, all about clashing there, except I think they're a bit more passive when they're clashing. These are more direct, but they are in action. Um, you want to build up your stars for clashing. Galactic Caboose is one that actually will help you build up more stars so you can actually get a benefit of doing clashes. Most of the cards in the Fist of Steel set actually is more beneficial actually for you winning most of the time. But um, one uh, Bryce Long is actually one of the cards that actually probably want to lose. So the rest of the cards are pretty good. So uh, Galactic Caboose is probably one you want to look for if you want to build up more star power. And of course, if you want to do a bit more dirtier fighting, you can actually look at the cards from the set Cards Magica, and they will actually help you reveal cards on top of the deck and also um, let you arrange cards on top of there. So you can actually set up and try to you know forecast what the star rankings, the star values in that top deck, so you know what you're actually going to get for when you clash with these guys. So the great thing is about that set is that there's a good number of them that actually are uh, plays when you do it, so you can actually use these cards to um, use it as an action afterwards and then go ahead and um, use the clash. And of course, I am going to give this a collector's alert since all of them are soldiers, including the deck. So go ahead and look for that when you're going to go for collections. And the last thing I'd like to say is that it, in summary, that it is pretty weak at is uh, as something that um, it works, something that work, that can work together, but um, it can actually just fit almost anywhere. Um, yeah, just like just a card that you just need to fill in if you need to. So it's a um, it's a I guess it's a filler kind of uh, set where you can just actually just put something in if you need some more, um, if you have open space in your deck. And that's all I have to say about this set. Uh, don't let me do all the talking. I would like to know what you think about this set and if you found any nice combos or how it helped you in the tournaments. And before you leave, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and share and subscribe for more Millennium Blades videos. Until next time, I'm Fernando the Carver Stacker, and see you later, Bladers.